In this video, I'll show you how to connect your Mac computer, it could be a MacBook, iMac, Mac Pro, Mac Mini, no matter what model, to your Pantom P2500W. This also works with many other Pantom models. So let's get started right away. So the step number one is to download on your Mac computer the Pantom app from the App Store. So this is the App Store, every Mac has it. You just have to go into the search here and type Pantom. And one of the first options here, Pantom, is the app you should get. Do not get Pantom Central. This is not the app we need. So I will download this one. Go on your printer and check and look over here. Is this light blinking? If it's blinking, we need to stop. We need to make it stop blinking. And to do this, it's very easy. Open this top lid, pull out the ink toner here, and put it back. Close the lid. Wait a few seconds, this will stop blinking. Okay, you see it stopped doing this. And now we need to press once on the Wi-Fi button, this one. Make sure you have some paper inserted in your printer before pressing on it. And extend this tray because there will be something printed there. Great! Set aside this paper, we need to go back on your Mac computer. Open the app, then press the skip button over here. Press I have read and agreed to private privacy policy. Press agree. Press OK to allow Bluetooth to be used with the app. Press duly noted. And then press add printer. It will scan for your printer. Just wait. And if it found it, great. And this is perfect. You just need to click on your printer and you're good to go. But if you get this message over here, Click on No Printer is Found. What you need to do at this step is to open the, on the Wi-Fi icon on the top right corner of your Mac computer. Over here select Other Networks, if you do not see your Pantom printer. And in this list, somewhere you should see Direct 35 Pantom, or maybe Direct with another, on the other number, Pantom P2500 series printer. Click on it and you'll connect to this Wi-Fi network of the printer. If it asks you for a password, take the paper that we just printed a few seconds ago and you should see the password right under here. Go back again and on the main menu screen of the app, you should see your Pantom printer added here on the top. You see it's even online because we added it manually. Now you can go ahead and print any file, so I'll select print file. And you have a few options here. If it's a file that is located on your Mac, and I suppose this is what you want, you're going to select iCloud documents. And now you just have to find the folder and the file you want to print. I have selected my document and here on the top we need to make sure these settings are fitting with your project. So how many copies do you want? One or more? Is it in portrait mode or lateral mode? This is how they call it. Paper size, make sure this paper size matches the one that you have inserted in your printer. In my case, this is not A4, it's a letter size. I'll select letter. Range, if it's a document with multiple pages, you can select a specific range to get printed. Single or duplex, well, my printer does not have duplex, duplex printing. You can only do it manually, so it's pretty unuseful. So I will simply let it on single and this is it. Once you're ready, press print. And right here in about seven seconds, you should see the printer reacting and printing the document. Here we go. Thanks for watching. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions or any comments, please write it in the comment section down below. If not, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.